Oh, last one for the day. I'm tired. Very, very, very tired. Jesus. <laughs> oh, here you go. Hey, Remo. I should get this one covered up. I sh it, it should be time, but I enjoy it way too much. <laughs> In any event, Remo's a good dude. A uh, little French guy. I got to uh, do paperwork, actually, to help him get into the country. And, oh, shit, now I'm going to fall over. And that's why I got the tattoo, just as a little, like, to remember that. And, like, help this little French dude that can paint really well. And he got into fabrication as, fabrication as I see, as of late. But I think he's always kind of dabbled in it. But he's gotten much better. And I enjoy watching his stuff. I think he's in Northern California now, or Washington State, I think. He was in Vegas for a little while. Oh, nevertheless. But this, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but, you know, I think you can tell by the color of the label it was in the fridge it is mine I left it out over the weekend well somehow it must have got dropped or something so it's flat it's been warm and then frozen thawed out and I'm drinking it this is the worst rock gut shit I've had in a while I don't drink pop that often when I do my, my standards have really diminished anyway. All right, <clears throat> let's back to this. Oh, last one for the day. Kids. All right, so this is back on. Um, this is our piece. We're trimmed. Okay, not much of an edge left. Just a little guy. And then I like that. It's not perfect. I didn't secretly trim more or fit it more, with the, you know, off of film. I basically just ended the last video, unscrewed it, took it over there, cut the line, and now I'm setting it back on. And as you can see, it's not that bad. There's a little more of a gap over here that can be filled. Um, the rest of it, let me move this forward here. So you can see, little line, little hole there. Not too bad though. Nothing that can't be filled. The rest of it is pretty much tight as tight. Um, the only thing I'll have to do is with aluminum, when you weld it, I know a lot of guys that do aluminum already know this, so I'm just preaching to the choir. Um, you have, you can't have a lip. See that lip right there? It's like, uh, see that? See the difference there? Yeah, you can't have that. So I'll have to peen this down and to get that up. Um, cause it has to be flush too, ever so flush. So it looks really close, you know, but it's just not quite there yet. Ready for welding. Well, it's not quite ready for welding. I should say but it's super close so I'm gonna start screwing some of it back on it and we'll just hammer it down and adjust from there okay doesn't that sound like fun sounds like so much fun last night when I did my little live video thing I stated that I wouldn't be talking much in these and I should stand by those by that statement but being since I'm recording can't have music playing in the background just kind of a pain in the ass because I really enjoy um, music and uh, since it's dead silent you get to listen to me banter so just kind of is what it is but. okay so since that's still kind of up what I think I'm going to do is trim it more on this side, because this is all sitting pretty much flush. I mean, I can knock it around a little bit. I don't know if you times you looked to see me using a steel hammer with one of these. Um, So about from right, like right here, it's flush. And then all the way over here, there's a lip. And it goes up and it stops right there. And find the handy dandy Sharpie marker. So to give you an idea, 
is your flush right here. Actually, we start there, and then we are flush right here. So from here to here, I have to rescribe that, pull it off, and trim it again. No pressure, right? Okay. Describe. be dangerous if I could find where I put everything. Like, right there. Really, really, really. Okay. I know I'm putting two lines in it. Shoot me. That's just what I do. This is like, it's tight, it's just picked up. So. Again, I ramble way too much. But, I really like this one. The button. Oh god. I don't know why I find such great amusement in that. I do. I really do. see that real well but that little bit of edge is what I have to trim off of there it's just enough to keep that thing hung over get it hung over <laughs> all right uh, I'm gonna go do that and other than that yeah we'll let it go for I'm not hitting down. I'm just pulling. I'm gonna pull the material over. This is amazing. Don't waste your money on shrinking hammers. It's a waste of time. I mean, there are people who can use them. Sure.
give you a groove hammer to give you the hardest possible way to shrink something. But since there's grooves on it, and Eastwood sells it, it's a thing that you can use, right? It's not. This is a regular flat hammer. It's, uh, Mike was really cool. He heated this and moved this thing up, and it actually has got a really cool edge because you can get in things and planish things down. Because way nicer still got a little gap there but that's totally weldable that little teeny tiny guy um, okay. so it's just big enough for that little poker to get in there that's about it just right there but the rest of it is really tight looks really good so i think we're gonna be okay there so i'm just gonna uh take a wire brush clean both sides and uh, real quick, just this edge and get all the grease from my hands and oils off my hands off of that edge. Um, screw this thing back down and tack it and uh, call it a day. So, alrighty. And with that, we're gonna call this, uh, these videos today a day. And I will see you tomorrow or the next day. I don't know if I'm gonna film tomorrow or not. Um, I know most of these are gonna be welded. And uh, so maybe we'll, we will do a little bit of filming and I'll Actually, yeah, if, if, they, if I don't get on uh, something else and these get welded, um, I will film planishing them out, planishing them and finishing them off and uh, give it a nice clean edge and everything, let you see the finished product and the fact that these get TIG welded across the top, across the face of it, and then it's flipped over and the access is melted on the back side. So any, the penetration, whatever does penetrate through because you want is hard a penetration as possible we'll go in with no wire or no filler rod and um, melt that in and just TIG weld it in at you know at a certain amperage and uh, just cook it all back in uh, like the pieces that I, sh I uh, showed in an earlier video from today that'll be posted tonight and you'll be able to see all that right so other than that um, piece be good to one another stuff like that and uh, you know, don't let anybody rent space in your head, man. See ya.